Hey there, were you taught that it's wrong to be angry, that it's not Christian to have negative emotions? Were your feelings invalidated and not taken note of? Ha, today we're talking about how to deal with negative emotions. I'm Jenny from Love More To Live where we talk about getting healthy so that all your relationships can be healthy. So let's dive into the video. Right, so most of us have been led to believe that negative emotions are bad and that they're our enemy and that we must resist them at all costs. And that we must just tell ourselves the truth and we'll be fine. Now it's true that we shouldn't let our negative feelings rule us. But I want, what I want to present to you today is that God gave us negative emotions for a reason. And they are good and healthy. Why? Because negative emotions let you know something's wrong. If you never felt pain, you would never know that something was wrong in your body, right? God created us with the ability of feeling negative emotions because they let us know that something is wrong. Just like he created our body to let us know when there's something wrong in the body because by feeling pain, so when we feel negative emotions, it lets us know there's something wrong in the soul. It would be foolish to ignore physical pain, and, but we often ignore emotional pain. We suppress it, we practice what I call spiritual suppression, just put it, squash it down somewhere because the Bible says we mustn't be angry and the Bible says we, we must rejoice always and the Bible says and so we just pretend that we're fine when we're not fine. So we squash those feelings because the Bible says they're wrong but they're still affecting us. They don't go away. So how do we deal with this? Because how do we, how do we marry the two of acknowledging our negative emotions but also doing what the Bible says to rejoice and not be angry and all those things. How do we meld these two things? Well, first of all, we need to start paying attention to our negative emotions because they're telling us something. They're letting us know something is wrong. And so what I'm telling people every time someone asks me to help them with their, with their past issues is start taking note of your negative emotions. Write them down. Pay attention to them because they're letting you know something's wrong somewhere in your soul. So what do you do once you recognize a negative emotion? Acknowledge it and identify it. You can't deal with it if you don't know what you're feeling. So label your emotion. And true, most true emotions can be identified using one word. I'm angry. I'm sad. I'm afraid. Acknowledging your emotion immediately validates it. Acknowledges it as real. And it starts the process of processing it. Okay, number two is deal with your why. So why are you feeling what you're feeling? You may be feeling something else first, especially when it comes to anger. So we have primary emotions and secondary emotions. We often focus on the secondary emotions, which are things like anger and frustration and defensiveness. But we must learn to dig deeper and say, okay, what am I feeling before I'm feeling angry? Because we want to get to the primary emotion. And primary emotions are things like fear, shame, sadness, hurt. Those are the things you want to deal with in your heart because... You know, it's anger, anger is doing something for you. It's solving a problem. It's protecting you from something. But it's not the, the primary emotion. It's not the thing that you're feeling deep inside. So deal with that emotion. And if you deal with the primary emotion, the secondary emotion sh should go away. You may also be feeling negative emotions because you're hungry, tired, overworked or stressed. And you're not managing your life well. Doing some self-care, and I'll put a link to the blog post below on self-care. It will help you eliminate negative emotions that stem from these kinds of things. Okay, number three is own your emotion. Own it. Allow yourself to feel it. Don't practice spiritual suppression. Don't deny it. Give yourself permission to feel what you feel. If you went to the doctor because you were in pain, but you refused to tell him where your pain was, would that make sense? He wouldn't be able to do anything for you because you're not telling him where you, where you feel bad. So in the same way, you've got to allow yourself to feel what you feel so that you can deal with it. And number four is release that emotion through surrender. Say, Lord, I give you my frustration or anger or sadness or hatred or hurt or fear. I give this to you. I give you permission to take it from me and replace it with your peace. When you surrender an emotion to God, doesn't mean it's going to be an instant fix. Sometimes it is, but not always. Sometimes it takes time for that emotion to simmer down and just to dissipate. But still, keep giving it to God. Lord, I give you my fear. Replace my fear with your peace. 
I give you my hatred, replace my hatred with your love. I give you my anger, replace my anger with your peace. And just keep giving your, giving your emotions to God and, and process them in this way. Surrender them. So in summary, when you acknowledge and ad- identify your emotions, when you deal with why you feel what you feel, when you own the emotion and allow yourself to feel what you feel, And then when you release that emotion to God, you're on the road to emotional health. And this will have a direct impact on your relationships. What should you do? You should start paying attention to the smallest twinge of any negative emotion because that's letting you know something's wrong. Record your emotions in a journal if necessary. And this is what I I ask clients to do is to, to start paying attention to their emotions and write them down so that next in our, in our next session, we can talk about what they've been feeling. You will start experiencing God's peace in your life because you are allowing him to come in and do Ezekiel 36 in you, which is a new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you. God wants to set us free from negative emotions. We need to listen to them, pay attention to them, feel them, but then give them to him so that he can replace them with his, with his heart. In Jeremiah 31 verse 33, God says, I will write my law on your heart. And his law is the law of love and peace and hope and courage and power. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to do that and hit the bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. And we'll see you next time.